everyone. Today I've decided I'm going to do a video just kind of about me to give a background. So I'm Kim. Um, I'm French and Polish, which is kind of cool. I mean, I learned French when I was young. I don't really remember 100% of it, but I try to practice. I'm really hoping that I can, you know, continue and do this channel and make videos about fun stuff and singing videos because I love singing but right now my voice is kind of garbage because I'm sick so that's not going to be happening. <laughs> I hope I can do like makeup tutorials too because I love doing that. I'm just kind of having some difficulties like seeing the picture while I'm doing the makeup. I also get very distracted as anybody who's seen me do my makeup knows. <laughs> I I am either listening to music or I'm watching like How I Met Your Mother so I'm like midway through eyebrow and I gotta pause to listen for the joke and sometimes I'll walk away from doing my makeup and like half of it's done I don't know there's no real method or at least my method takes like three hours so I can't really imagine compressing all of this into one little tiny video okay three hours is a pretty big stretch because if it took me three hours to get ready that wouldn't work out so well for you know, life. I mean, there's a lot of room in this house that goes unused, so it's nice to be able to like set up my lights and like have all my stuff and talk about whatever. Um, it's just kind of hard to think about things to talk about. It's kind of awkward to talk to no one too. It's less awkward because no one's home to right now, whereas most of the time when they are home, I feel like they're gonna walk in and be like, what's she doing? And I'm just gonna be like, this is incredibly awkward. I just reminded myself that I recently saw this movie, It's Spy with Melissa McCarthy and Jason Statham, Statham well, I have no idea how to pronounce his last name, but he's really attractive. But I saw it with Alex and it was so funny and I was really happy because like I just I loved all the actors that were in it and it just had like that quick way. And I definitely recommend it to anybody who has not seen it, although I don't know if it's still out in theaters. Maybe not. Well, get it when it gets out on DVD. I'm really hoping it goes to Netflix, because that just means I can watch it on loop. Netflix has kind of become my sad obsession. I know it's horrible, and everybody talks about how much TV they stopped watching, or how, many t how much TV they now watch because of it. But it's like, I'm an insomniac. I, or at least for a long part of my life, I was. And it was really difficult for me to sleep, and it was so awesome to know, hey, I can't sleep. Maybe I'll just watch like 400 episodes of one TV series and then I'll fall asleep. I watched Fresh Prince again, which was pretty cool because, I mean, who doesn't love Fresh Prince? And then I watched all these like kind of random movies, like ones that I either wanted to see in theaters but was like, do I want to pay $10? And most of the time I don't want to pay $10. It takes a lot for me to spend ten dollars. I mean, like even for food, because let's put it this way: I cook and I can bake. So if I'm paying like twenty bucks for noodles that I can make at home for five dollars, I don't know. I don't know. If it's like worth it and it's so good, then I'm just like, yeah, like sushi. I can't make sushi. I wish I could make sushi. For any of you guys who haven't tried sushi, you really need to. Getting with the experience. It is Thursday and it's pretty late so I should explain that this morning I woke up and I was like you know what it's my day off kind of just want to chill at home for a little bit and then I'll go to the gym. Well that chilling at home turned out to be me at home alone for like five hours and then I went to the gym so whoop, whoop, did something productive and then I came home and for some reason decided the best option was to get super fancy by doing my makeup and, and putting on my nice clothes. I mean, it's not really a big deal, like I do my makeup every day, but I really had no plans to exit the house. So I basically just, you know, got pretty for me. Yay. Eh. Everybody else I know is working and my one friend is still in China for two days. Well, technically she's in California. But she's coming back, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see her. Because it's been three months, and I, I have separation anxiety. I don't like my friends going very far away for long periods of time. 
Even like a week is difficult to handle. What am I supposed to do for a week without my best friends? I get bored. I really do. I wanted to film because I did my brows and my skin looks nice. And my lipstick is a fall color, even though it's technically not fall yet, it's feeling like fall. I felt that it was a little bit necessary to put myself on display and talk about nothing for you. One fun fact. So I have a dog and a cat. My dog does this weird thing. She loves to swim, like loves, loves, like it's like freezing in the pool and she just, she's in. Like before you are and you're like, okay, you enjoy yourself because I can't get in, it's too cold. She has this weird thing now where I let her out into my backyard to, you know, do her business and she comes back into my house and she's all wet because she just decided to spontaneously go for a swim, you know, at 10 p.m. In, in, by herself and she's all happy. And she's not overheated and she's not dehydrated, so it's just kind of weird. She's older now, and I mean, like, one of these days, she's gonna jump in, and something's gonna happen, and I'm gonna have to, like, jump in after her, wearing, like, full face makeup. If this ever happens, I will film it after so you guys can see the aftermath of it, because that would be ridiculous. But, anyways, so that's, I guess that's my one funny story for the week, so. Yeah, hopefully there'll be better ones next week. Okay, bye guys.